Hi, Team Summit family and friends. Uh, for newsletter here at the beginning of October, uh, I'm going to go a little off the cuff, but I want to share with you some things that are uh, happening here at Team Summit that may um, be meaningful to you. Um, first one is um, we have moved our. So let me. We're, we're going to give you a little tour here. So we're, we're in the process of uh, several changes. So. Anyway, I was sitting at my desk, so we'll start there. CB's office, yay. Um, our administrative offices, we moved out of Copper Valley and we've moved to Snowbridge Square, which um, is where our clubhouse has been. It was at uh, um, Center Village in Copper Mountain. That's Lily Strachan for those of you guys who call the office. Uh, Lily's our office and membership manager. Um, she's that happy voice and smiling face that greets you here. Okay, in addition to new offices, we gotta have a place to have meetings, right? So um, so we have a new conference room. This is a, a storefront, also in Snowbridge Square, right by the office. So just give you a quick tour of the office. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, um, all the furniture you saw back in our offices and this uh, furniture you see here um, comes from a sponsorship from um, I furnish in Frisco, so they're, they're great supporters of Team Summit. And um, anyway, so if you have furniture needs up here in Summit County, check out I furnish. They're, uh, they're just off of Summit Boulevard in Frisco, and they would love to help out t Team Summit families. So this is our new conference room. There you go. Okay. You well, all right. Sounds good. Hey, uh, say hi real quick. Um, everybody, this is Jack Farrell. Jack's our head coach of human performance, so uh, he's also a full-time Alpine coach. So Jack, uh, in addition to coaching Alpine, he runs our strength and conditioning program, which is where I'm at right now. Uh, this is the Rosner Human Performance Center. Not quite done uh, building in here, but uh, in just a few minutes, a uh, whole bunch of kids will be in here. And uh, this is where we get them started with their... Um, preseason strength and conditioning for the academy kids. They're in here uh, four days a week, um, making sure that they're strong and ready to be on snow. And uh, hopefully that will make them better competitors as well as uh, reduce our injuries out there in the snow. So uh, Roman Human, the Rosner Human Performance Center, we'll get some better uh, video of this when we finish the construction, but the core space where the kids work out. This is it. Um, so you can see the Olympic lifting platforms. Those yellow straps are uh, TRX and uh, dumbbells. Eventually here where the dumbbells are, actually, we've got uh, some spin bikes on order. They'll be here soon. So um, pretty exciting to have uh, really high quality um, space for our athletes to be able to prep for the season and, and stay strong and stay healthy. Okay, back back at my desk here. Yep, that was my finger over the camera. Let me just spin this around. So, um, enrollment update. Just want to let everybody know that um, uh, enrollment is going amazing. Actually, we, we've already hit our budgeted uh, number of total athletes for the season um, and, and expect that we'll get quite a bit beyond that. Um, our uh, uh, enrollment period lasts. We, we continue to have people sign up for about two to two and a half more months. So, so that's going really well. Um, but this has created some problems as well. Um, uh, many of you heard um, that we put uh, caps on our Intro to Team Summit program and uh, we've reached those caps and new athletes are getting put on a wait list. That said, we're working on several strategies to uh, um, be able to accommodate uh, kids in Intro Team Summit who are on the wait list. And uh, we hope to get everybody who signs up and shows interest and opportunity to be part of Team Summit this, this winter. That said, um, you know, we've got to have enough coaches and, and quality coaches to really be able to provide uh, high quality programming. And, and so um, that, that's why we, we set the caps, um, started the wait list, so that we can make sure before we go over that cap number that, that we're in a position 
where um, we can give a great value for what people are investing in being part of Team Summit. So um, if you're on the wait list, stand by. We're working on it. Um, I, I, at this point, I think we'll get it figured out for um, most everybody who's on that. That said, uh, enrollment, like I said, is just blowing up this year. It is really, really uh, um, going well. And so we find ourselves in a situation where we're probably going to be running into a team coach shortage. Um, that's because our team coats, we have to order those in January for the next season. So, you know, we, we're talking about um, 11 months of lead time, uh, 10 to 11 months of lead time on ordering our coach. So we're, we're really taking a, uh, our best guest when we order our coats and we really didn't anticipate um, uh, we, that we would be at this level at this time um, when we made that order last year. Actually, we kind of thought we got a big bump from COVID last year and, and enrollment might even drop back. It, and just the opposite. We're, uh, um, you know, we have, we have programs that, that we've capped um, in addition to ITS that are at 100, 150% of our budget enrollment numbers. So, if you have any uh, old Team Summit coats, and by old I mean they still they, they need to have the blue sleeve on them, so not looking for any green green sleeve coats to come back. But if you have Team Summit coats that have the blue sleeves on them, particularly in youth sizes, uh, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, um, uh, and those coats are in good repair, and they're just hanging in a closet at your house. We would love to get those back. We're, we're going to get them professionally cleaned and, and, and make sure that they're um, in as close to new condition as we possibly can. Um, but, but we feel like we're, we're going to need those coats, um, as many of those coats as we can get back for the year. So particularly youth sizes and, and even adult sizes, extra small, small, mediums in particular, um, we'll, we'll put those coats to good use this year. We, we've never had to do this before at Team Summit. Um, but uh, as part of trying to um, accommodate everybody and, and get everybody uh, the coat that we hope to provide them with the Team Summit logoing and all that, um, we've, th this seems like the only route uh, that, that we have at this point to make that happen. Um, our coats are custom coats, so it's not like um, we can increase the order um, once we place that in um, sorry, in January every year. So if you have a coat, um, get that back to us. We, we'd love to have it. Our new address for our office, I forgot to tell you this, it's 760 Copper Road. It's in Copper Mountain. Uh, and uh, it is right next to the post office. Um, the name of the building is Snowbridge Square. Um, and we we stand out in this space. You, we're, we're easy to find. Um, and we would love to get some of those coats back. So. All that said, very exciting times here at Team Summit. Lots going on, kids working out. Um, we've got some dry land coming up for Intro and Devo the next four weekends. Um, family orientations right around the corner. Staff orientation starts a week from Tuesday. So, so you know we're busy. We're getting ready for the season and and really excited for it. So, uh, hoping to. Uh, See you soon here at Team Summit, and in the meantime, just remember, I love this sport, and I hope you love it as much as I do.